Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I thought I'd bring you along for a simple autumn afternoon. I'm making a wreath for the door just to bring a little bit of autumn decor. And wreaths are a great way of just bringing a little bit of decoration but you just pick wild flowers, a lot of dried flowers at the moment, some nice autumnal colours and it's completely free. And I never know what I'm doing when I'm making the wreath. I really just pop things through the branches and just see what works. And you may have seen this wreath in other videos. I made these willow wreaths years ago. They're just made with some willow twigs. And then I just bring them out year after year. I love using things like oak leaves. They're so synonymous of autumn and some laurel berries and then some other wild weeds. So it's just really, really simple. And it's a lovely way of just bringing out a bit of creativity. So then the sun came out and I thought I would go for a little bit of foraging. One of my friends told me about dock flower. So you make the dock flower from the dock seed. And dock seeds is just a wild plant you'll see everywhere, especially in Ireland. And they'll always be beside nettles. So we've copious amount of nettles on the land, so I knew that we'd have dock. And I love when I hear about something that can be used for something edible, especially when it's nutritious. And especially when it's free. So I found some dock seeds and they'll just be at the dock plant come autumn time. And I read that the dock plant can have about it's like 30,000 seeds. So you just kind of pop them off like so. And then we're going to grind them later and make them into flour. And I'll just take a little bit from loads of different plants. Now you can see here is the nettle seeds, beautifully green, ready to be harvested. And as I was picking them, of course, you wear the gloves. Although the sting, a lot of people say it is good for you. So I just wanted to harvest also nettle seeds. Nettle seeds are packed full of nutrition, particularly iron and vitamin C. And they say it's a great boost of energy. And with all the different things we buy, like hemp seeds or poppy seeds, it's just nice that I can get something that's on the land. So what you want to do first with the nettles when you harvest them, they say just kind of leave them for a bit so all the insects can kind of crawl out of them. So I'm going to let these dry for a while and then I have ones that are already dried. Now when nettles are dried, they don't have the sting, it's kind of neutralised. And you just pop all the seeds off. You don't have to be so particular the way I'm doing it. I just wanted each individual seed so that I could sprinkle it on soups or stews. Can also sprinkle it in salads. And did you know that every part of the nettle plant can be used and the stalk used to be used to make yarn and then used to make clothes. So that's for another day's experiment. I'd love to know down below if you have a particular weed that you just absolutely love. I have to say nettle is my absolute favourite because it has so many benefits in so many different areas for ourselves and the garden. So when I've gotten rid of all the seeds, 
I'm just going to leave the rest in a bucket that has rainwater and I'm going to use that to give nutrition to the plants. But let's go back to the dock seeds and they say just leave it for a bit so the insects can kind of crawl out. And what we're going to do first is roast it and they say this brings out a nutty flavour. So you just need to keep an eye on it when you're roasting and then you'll need a coffee grinder. So when I was doing the research, it said to use 50% of the dock flour in bread making. So I'm going to use about a third. So I did one cup of dock flour to the two cups and I'll leave the recipe below, but it's the same as my other soda bread recipes. And what's great about dock flour is it's completely gluten free. and it's really high in fiber and it gives great roughage to the diet. So it's great for your digestion. So about 30 minutes in the oven And it's such a dark brown. It reminded me of really dark rye bread. And the texture and the taste was very pleasing. I'll definitely make this again. There's something so rewarding about collecting something in nature and then utilizing it for nutrition. So they say you can also make pancakes out of the flour. 100% of the flour can be made into pancakes. So I have yet to try that one. But I'd love to know if you've actually ever used it before. All that's left to do is put the wreath on the door and now autumn has officially arrived. So chat as always down below or over on Instagram. Have a wonderful week. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video.